Ahead of state assembly elections in Karnataka, BJP MLA Basan Goda Yatnal drops a political bombshell. He alleges that ministers who helped in bringing down JDS Congress Alliance government in 2020 are keen on getting back the Congress. This comes as the former Chief Minister Sidra Maya confirmed that few JDS and BJP MLAs are in touch. Remember, this development comes amidst rumblings around the state cabinet expansion. Sources close to India today reveal that Congress is planning Operation Hasta. Karnataka Chief Minister Basavraj Bomai rejected discontent within party ranks, saying the high command will decide the cabinet expansion. But there are four vacant cabinet berths that need to be filled up. Several MLEs, including Yatnal, met the Chief Minister, demanding expansion at the earliest. <laughs> ಬಿಜೆಪಿಯ <laughs> ಅಲ್ಲಿ <laughs> DK Sukumar Mani go to book Mark Kondara, Sidra Mai Mani go to book Mark Kondara. But our name is Mumud or Sondara, Vijapi the Kulita. Sampar Delida Dija, Isagala. Sampar Delida, Vijapi or either JDS. Nolan Pino now joins us live from Bengaluru, uh, bringing us up to speed the very latest. Nolan, first explain what is Operation Hasta at the moment and what are the fears as poaching politics returns to Karnataka? Well, Shaiti, it's very simple. What happened with Operation Lotus? Now, this is just the opposite. Now, it's not going to happen immediately, but what Paswan Gaurav Yatnal is stating is that they, some of the MLAs, some of the ministers uh, from the BJP have already met uh, Sidramaya and DK Shivkumar and at the appropriate time will jump ship. And this is the biggest worry. He says that uh, most, he in fact blames some of the uh, ministers who jump ship from the Congress and the JDA, saying that once they complete their complete ter once their term over here, then they are 100% going to go back to the Congress from where they actually came. Uh, so he says that if the cabinet expansion or revamp is not done, the BJP is in trouble. Now we must understand that Yetnal as well as Renukacharya, both MLAs, have been pestering not just Bombay but previously Yadurapa to become ministers. So one, it could be pressure tactics, but also the BJP has not been doing well in the previous elections. The MLC elections uh, in the past few months, the bipoles, the urban local body, the BJP has not done well. And that is the reason Yetnal is stating that this is the time for the BJP to put its act together or else they will not be able to stop what DK Shivkumar and Sidramaya are currently doing for the Congress in the state. Leave it at that. Thanks for joining us with the very latest details. Big face-off over Kerana seat reignites as Akhilesh Yadav feels exodus villain and sitting MLA Nahid Hassan again from the seat. The decision has resulted into political fireworks in pole-bound UP. Take a look at this report. The fight for Kerana heats up after the Samajwadi Party's controversial candidature selection. Nahid Hassan, the alleged orchestrator of Hindu exodus in Western Uttar Pradesh district, is now the SP's face from communally charged seat. Hassan, who was arrested on January 16, a day after he filed nomination for upcoming polls, will fight the election from behind the bars. Akhilesh Yadav's decision to field Hassan has triggered another political firestorm. 
The BJP is accusing the SP of using gangsters to win elections, while the SP accuses BJP of divisive politics. आज की सूची के माध्यम से उत्तर प्रदेश की जनता को यह दृश्य दिखाने का काम किया है कि चाहे कोई जेल में हो और चाहे बेल में चाहे कोई दंगे के अपराधी हो और चाहे कोई कब्जा करने का अपराधी हो चाहे गुंडों का संरक्षक हो चाहे माफियाओं का संरक्षक हो चाहे उसके पास उसके खिलाफ सौ अपराध हो चाहे दो सौ अपराध हो वही उनके सब खास हैं आज जब सरकार के पास कोई बात गिनाने को नहीं है कोई काम गिनाने को नहीं है तो हमारी लिस्ट पर सवाल खड़ा कर रही है भारतीय जनता पार्टी को तीन ही कैंडिडेट दिख रहे हैं और जबकि कितनी बड़ी सूची समाजवादी पार्टी ने जारी की है ये भाजपा के लोग चुनाव में ध्रुवीकरण करना चाहते हैं बंटवारे की बात नफरत की बात इसके अलावा कुछ नहीं क्योंकि इनके पास अपना कोई काम गिनाने को नहीं है शुक्र है कसा को फांसी हो चुका है वरना चिन्ना को तो उतारे ही थे शारीरिक रूप से कसाब को भी स्टार प्रचारक के रूप में उत्तर प्रदेश में उतारने से झिझकते नहीं अखिलेश कर अलिया अखिलेश हैड अनाउंस्ड द एस पी विल थिंक हसन कैंडिडेचर आफ्टर रिलेंटलेस अटैक फ्रॉम बीजेपी तो अगर उनको गिरफ्तार कर लिया है तो उनके परिवार में जिनके ऊपर एक भी मुकदमा नहीं होगा उनको टिकट देंगे केराना में हिंदू व्यापारियों के पलायन के लिए जिम्मेदार लोगों को टिकट देना इस समाजवादी पार्टी और गठबंधन के चरित्र को उजागर कर देता है The the SP's decision has once again reignited the face of over 2016 exodus of over 300 Hindu families from Kerala. Will poll ticket to Hassan lead to consolidation of Hindu votes behind the BJP? Bureau Report, India Today. Shocking sacrilege built in pole bound Punjab on your screens right now are visuals from Goddess Kali Temple in Patiala where a man tried to climb on the threshold where the idol was kept he can be then seen trying to get close to the idol of the deity inside the temple within moments he was overpowered by the priest before the devotees handed him over to the police the sacrilege accused is now under Punjab police's custody chief minister channi has condemned the incident alleging conspiracy to destabilize Punjab government during the polls he also asked people to maintain peace and harmony delhi chief minister kejriwal demanded that action be taken against the culprit akali dal chief subbir badal and captain amrinder singh condemned the attack as well ਮੈਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਹੁਣ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਨਾਲ ਦੀ ਨਾਲ ਇਮੀਡੀਏਟਲੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਇਆ ਆ ਕੇ ਹੁਣ ਵੈਰੀਫਾਈ ਕਰਦਾ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਹੀ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਖੇਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਇਹ ਤੋਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਵੈਰੀਫਾਈ ਕਰਕੇ ਜੋ ਬਣਦਾ ਜੋ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਕਿਸ ਤਾਕੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਉਹਦੀ ਕਾਰਵਾਈ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਊਗੀ ਜੋ ਬਣਦੀ ਆ ਧਾਰਾ ਦੇ ਮੁਤਾਬਕ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੂਰੀ ਕਾਰਵਾਈ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਨਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਦਿੱਕਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਡਾਊਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਹੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਡਾਊਟ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਜਾਂ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਕੰਮ ਕੋਈ ਹੋਇਆ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਬਸ ਸਕੂਆ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਸਨ ਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਹੁਣ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਤੱਕ ਪੁੱਛਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਸਨ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਬੰਦ ਵੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਉਰੇ ਰਸਤਾ ਵੀ ਜਾਮ ਕਰਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਪ੍ਰਸ਼ਾਸਨ ਨੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਸਿਰਫ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਹਾਲੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਾਮ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਤਾ ਕਰ ਸਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਨਾਮ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਮਤਲਬ ਨਾਮ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕਿਸ ਧਰਮ ਜਾਤ ਨੂੰ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਰੱਖਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਸ ਮਕਸਦ ਨਾਲ ਆਇਆ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਹਾਲੇ ਦੂਰ ਦੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਰਹਿ ਗਈਆਂ ਹਾਲੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਤਾ ਕਿ ਬੰਦਾ ਕੌਣ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਵਿਰੋਧ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੱਲ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਆ ਸੰਮਤੀ ਤੇ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਤਖਤ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੱਲ ਪਟਿਆਲਾ ਬੰਦ ਦਾ ਆਵਾਹਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਕੱਲ ਸਵੇਰੇ ਅਸੀਂ 9 ਵਜੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਲਾਇਆ ਕਿ ਕਾਲੀ ਮਾਤਾ ਮੰਦਰ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਔਰ ਕਾਲੀ ਮਾਤਾ ਮੰਦਰ ਤੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਕੰਨੀ ਨੂੰ ਬਤਾਂਗੇ ਆਨ ਇਨ ਦ 75th ਈਅਰ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਇੰਡੀਪੈਂਡੈਂਸ 75 ਏਅਰਕ੍ਰਾਫਟ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਏਅਰ ਫੋਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਨੇਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਟੇਕ ਦ ਸਕਾਈਸ ਓਵਰ ਰਾਜਪਥ ਐਸ ਆਫ ਨਾਓ ਇਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਮਿਸਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਅ ਸਨੀ ਦੋ ਕੋਲਡ ਡੇ ਦ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਏਅਰ ਫੋਰਸ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਮਿਸਿੰਗ ਦ ਗ੍ਰੈਂਡੈਸਟ ਯੈਟ ਫਲਾਈ ਪਾਸ ਵਿਦ ਰਫੈਲਸ ਸੁ 30 ਐਮ ਕੇ ਆਈ ਚਾਗਵਾ ਡੀਪ ਪੈਨਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਟ੍ਰਾਈਕ ਏਅਰਕ੍ਰਾਫਟ ਐਂਡ ਮਿਗ 29 ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਨੇਵੀ long range maritime reconnaissance aircraft that played a stellar role keeping an eye on the adversary even in the himalayas is going to be joining the parade abhishek bhalla with this report
75 aircraft and helicopters, including Rafals, Sukhoi 30 MKI and MiG-29s will be flying over the Rajpath. The aircraft will be flying in the Amrit formation to commemorate 75 years of independence. The flypast will begin with the Dhwaj formation with four Mi-17 helicopters, followed by Rudra and Rahat formations with advanced light Dhruv helicopters. The Republic Day flypast will also witness a vintage Dakota and Dornier aircraft in the Tangail formation and Mi-17 and Chinook helicopters signifying the very significant heli bridge over the Meghna that led to the fall of Dhaka back in 1971. The parade this year will see Centurion tanks that played a crucial role in the Battle of Basantar. The Republic Day Parade will not start at the usual time of 10 a.m. but 10.30 a.m. a half hour in the hope that the weather will be clearer. Republic Day will also see celebrations from January 23rd every year from now on instead of January 24th in order to include the birth anniversary of Subhash Chandra Bose. The Met Department is forecast partly cloudy skies with no likelihood of rainfall and shallow fog on Republic Day morning. Covid's shadow looms large over celebrations however. Artists performing in cultural events on Republic Day are not allowed to meet anyone. Following Covid protocols, only 5,000 to 8,000 people are allowed to attend the parade this year. Bureau report, India Today. The history was raging in India. A hologram of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was unveiled at the India Gate on Sunday. Prime Minister Modi, who launched it, has claimed his government is giving credit to icons of freedom movement who were forgotten by earlier governments. Earlier, the Parivar leaders had claimed Sardar Patel and Beer Savarkar were ignored by the Congress party, who apparently focused on the Nehru Gandhi family. Here is a report on how the Modi government has gone about its pet history project. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's hologram statue is unveiled at the India Gate on his 125th birth anniversary. The hologram, under the canopy that once housed the statue of King George V, will be replaced with the sculpture later. The statue on Rajpath will overlook the country's seat of power, Rashtrapati Bhavan, Parliament and the Central Vista. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurating the hologram claimed there was an attempt earlier to wipe out the memory of great freedom fighters. Swadhinta Sangram mein lakho lak desh vatsho ki tapasya saamil thi. Lekin unke itihaas ko bhi simit karne ki koshish hui. Lekin aaj, aaj haadi ke dasakon baad, desh the Narendra Modi government since coming to power in 2014 has embarked on a mission to correct what it calls is an attempt to limit credit for freedom struggle and nation building to the Nehru Gandhi family. The mission started with Statue of Unity that opened in Gujarat in 2018. The statue dedicated to Sardar Vallabhai Patel is twice as big as Statue of Liberty. The NDA government has also put the focus on freedom fighter and social reformer Vinayak Damodar Savarkar. Savarkar ke khilaf jhoot failaya gaya. Bar bar yeh baat kahi gayi ki unhone angreji sarkar ke saamne aneko mercy petition file ki. Lekin sa chahi hai कि मर्सी पेटिशन उन्होंने अपने को रिहा किए जाने के लिए नहीं फाइल की थी महात्मा गांधी के कहने पर उन्होंने मर्सी पेटिशन फाइल की थी द गवर्नमेंट्स मिशन टू रीराइट हिस्टोरिकल रोंग्स हैज लेफ्ट एकेडमिक्स डिवाइडेड आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर हिज आइडियल्स नॉट जस्ट वर्शिप हिम 
in statues of uh, gold or granite uh, or a hologram, but actually imbibe uh, his uh, real uh, deep uh, ideals which are as relevant in India today as they were uh, during the freedom struggle. There has been a tendency from the side of the Congress to not recognize the non-mainstream uh, streams of the freedom struggle, be it uh, that of the INA, be it that of the communists and so on. Uh, but I don't think that it is the BJP or the, or the Prime Minister who are qualified to set that thing correct. Sardar Patel, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, the Savarkar. The Narendra Modi government claims that they are trying to resurrect the legacy of these freedom fighters. However, the critics of the BJP claim that the BJP is trying to appropriate their legacy. Now, between this crossfire, which is completely political, are caught our freedom fighters who did a lot for the struggle, for the freedom struggle that got us independence. With camera person Shamshundar Ghosh, this is Suryadri Roy for India Today, Kolkata.